Congratulations, Hero Hunter 81. Awesome. You're the first guy who's done a contest video in a long time. I mean, mind you, oh yeah, and I voted. <laughs> I forgot that was on me. Um, yeah, we go through, this community goes through phases where everyone, people do contests and then they don't. And yours is the first I've seen in a while. So, I scoured my my short boxes and I found some stuff. I picked and cho chose through and I chose the best stuff. Um, and just some interesting stuff. I'm a little disappointed that uh, because I just sold my um, this I sold my run of Miss Marvel on eBay, so I don't have my first appearance at Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. So, oops. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna start off with this is all new Fathom. This is the last mini series of Fathom. This is cover D, but this is the comic shop I go to is Collectors Inc. And so. Uh, this is just a, a weird variant from there that I like personally. Even though the series is just not that good. But it has beautiful art. Next, we're going to move on to some Star Wars here. Mind you, this isn't going to be a complete Star Wars thing. I picked, I chose three. This is Legacy number one. Uh, this is the first full appearance of Kate Skywalker. Um, this is also the first full appearance of Darth Krott, who would become the main villain for this series. Uh, then I go to Legacy number 7. Now this is an interesting issue. I wish I had Legacy issue 8 as well. They made an error, and they drew the wrong character into a scene, so it didn't make any sense. And so there's a page in the next issue of this where they correct the error. Yeah. Kate slept with the wrong girl. That's literally what it is. Yeah, it's quite humorous. Um, next, Legacy Volume 2, Issue 1. This is the first full appearance of Anya Solo. And I think the first dealings with the um, Galactic Triumvirate, Triumvent, which is the weird government system that made no sense that they don't even talk about in this series. Uh, next, uh, I could honestly put in all of the Edge of Spider-Verse, but I chose this one because this is the the one that's worth a ton of money right now because everyone liked the whole idea of Gwen Stacy being Spider-Woman. So, yeah, this goes for like 80 bucks now or something. So if I needed like a kidney transplant, I could, this could go towards it. Uh, next, Amazing Spider-Man number four from this new series. Um, this is the first appearance of Silk. Like the first full appearance of Silk. I could pull out one, and that's the first, technically the first appearance of Silk, but she's barely barely in it. This is the first full. So, so yeah next we get to what I had to take notes on here this is Un Uncanny X-Men 317 and this is the first two, uh, two first appearances um, Clarice Ferguson is this is her first appearance and uh, Skin this is their first appearance and here I think this is the first print this is in the middle of like a event. So I have not read that. Uh, next I have X Factor issue 17 and this is the first appearance of Richter. So that's cool. Then I got X Force number 11. This is the first true appearance of Domino because this she was in it before but it was like an imposter. Next, New Guardians issue 2. This is the infamous issue where they fought a supervillain who was powered by cocaine. Yeah, it was the 80s. It happens. I think it was the 80s. Yeah, it was 88. Next, we got 
uh, DC Legends issue 3 of 6. This is an early appearance, it may even be the first appearance of Suicide Squad. I don't think it is the first appearance, it may just be an early appearance. I can't remember. And then finally I got something here. This is uh, Morning Glories and it's signed by Joe Eastman. Which I think is really awesome. So yeah, that's that's my video for you. Um, I'll upload this now. Have a nice day, and you're pretty close to a thousand, man. Good luck, dude. Have a nice day.